My name is Jefferson Evans. I was originally from Georgia, you know. My father, he was a worker. Oh boy, he was a worker. And we went to school in Georgia, October to March. But the thing about it, we didn't go to school but three months because we had to gather the crop, October, November, up into December. And my father said, well, you can go to school to March. And after March, the school closed. But the white people went to school for nine months. I left the South when I was 17 years old. Came to Washington, D.C., got a job washing dishes, $7 a week, seven days a week. They just had started the, working on the Pentagon building. That was 1940, 41. And I went out there and got a job. I was big and strong, had worked on the farm all these years, you know. Then later on in life, I went into the Army and I stayed in the Army around two years and I got out. Then I came to Connecticut and I wanted to go to Yale. But I, that was a heck of a thing to do, you know. With my education, only reading and writing and arithmetic. But when I got here, it was just about 400 black people in this town. It was prejudice here just like it was like down south. Places on Church Street, downtown New Haven, black people couldn't even go in. They had to go to the back door. But anyway, I end up, after I couldn't pass the exam, I got a job at Yale, whacking, whacking the floors. I love to work. And people said, why do you work so hard? I knew that if I work hard, I could have something. I knew that. But after, you know, the war was over, then they started the school in the culinary school. Well, I had washed dishes, and I wanted to be a baker, you know. I saw how this black guy was working, and, and I said, when they opened up this school, I guess I was the first one at the door because I wanted to be a, a chef, cook, you know. And well, in 1946, I went down and signed up and started the school. The only black person in the, in the whole school. It was pretty hard to get a job in Connecticut, you know. I mean, black people. Uh, every time I went on, went downtown, they said, well, I would give you a job, but I used to have black people and they stole too much, you know. That's what they said. Well, I went to see this guy in Meriden. I talked to this man for a whole hour. He said, I call you. And I knew that if he tell me that he gonna call me, that would be the end of it. And I stood up and I looked at him and I said, Mister, I said, you said you need a chef. I said, I said, look at me. I said, I don't care where you go, where you look, you never will find a chef no better than me. He said, come to work tomorrow. In this world, I was working for white people, and I had to prove to them that I was good, and that's exactly what I did. I was working in a place in Brantford, and the, and the white fellow said, he said, Jeff, he said, i give you this job. He said, but you got to do three times more than that white boy there. If you don't do much, if you're not better than that white boy, I don't want you. You got to do better than him. I said, I can do it, you know. Over the years, I wanted to do other things, you know, and I got a job with the culinary institution, you know. They didn't have no black peoples there, you know. They had all Italian and, you know. Then I... Started cooking at the culinary. I was a professor up there, all, all over. They, they called me the mayor. I don't know. I
I really enjoy teaching, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's when I came to Johnson Whaler, you know. The students see me, hey, Mr. Evans, you know, you know, they just holler out, you know. I, I loved what I was doing, you know, and I was, and, and I, I made, I guess I made history, I don't know. Yeah, you did. But I, I always felt that I could run a restaurant better than anybody else. And, uh, and I opened up my own restaurant, one and only. And uh, I went up and, you know, got everything going. Oh, boy, it was a beautiful little place on Dick Dixwell Avenue. And, well, the people started coming in. And then it, it started moving, you know. I remember the first day I opened up, I, I had about eight or nine people working for me at the time, you know. And we, we, we were busy too, you know. I, I was there for six years. It, it, was, it was just so many things in life that I had to, you know, reach to the top, you know. And you know, even right today, uh, you know, people, said, what did I do? But I don't, I'm not a person who praised what I did. I, I, I did what, what anybody else I thought would do, you know, be fair and honest, you know, about anything, you know. I think you, the one thing you got to be honest with yourself, you know. I'm a happy man. I, I, you know, if you live right and treat people right, God will bless you.